Breakups happen every day, right? But never like this. We go live on reports a jilted lover goes berserk behind the wheel of the black Hyundai, running down his former sweetheart, then hitting the gas to reverse over her dead body in the middle of the crosswalk. Not once, not twice, but three separate times. Straight out to Bonnie Drucker joining us live at the scene. Bonnie, what happened? Nancy, first of all, this should have never happened. Now, Hong was walking across this street, and Anne drove over her. And Nancy, as we said, if that wasn't enough, he forwarded the car. And then he slammed on the brakes and reversed and hit her again, Nancy, three times so loud that people who work in these buildings heard the screeching. Bonnie, what can you tell us about the location? I understand it was in broad daylight, and this guy had time to back over his lover's dead body right there in front of pedestrians and drivers three separate times. Nancy, take a look at this community. It is a beautiful com community. It is a busy community. The community center is right over there. We have a bank, the Wells Fargo, right behind me, and we have a kosher deli right behind me. There are people all over the place. There are seniors here because of the community center, and there are also a lot of kids around here. People who saw this are just stunned, Nancy. To David Lohr, senior crime reporter, Huffington Post. David, what do we know about this relationship? Why so bitter that in front of, of dozens of witnesses, he not only runs her down in the crosswalk, but backs over her dead body three times? Well, Nancy, uh, according to people that knew the couple, they said they had been dating for about a year. Uh, he, he had actually had plans of marrying her. Well, another man okay, that she Wait a minute, Lore. Hold on, Lore. Did I just hear the word dating? You mean there weren't children involved? There wasn't a big divorce war? They weren't splitting up a house? Nothing? There wasn't, there was no money, no children, no house, no assets? Nothing on the line. They just had a breakup for Pete's sake. Yeah, they were they were together for about a year. Uh, they had shared an apartment for a time, but uh, another man she had been dating in South Korea was planning to come on over and uh, move in with her, and that's where this strife uh, initially began because of the friends. Uh, he he was devastated. Uh, they said he couldn't handle it and wanted to do anything he could to get her back, but she had no interest. Straight back to Bonnie Drucker joining us there at the crime scene. Bonnie, did witnesses try to help the girl? Yes, we did. Uh, we, we did speak to some neighbors, and I understand that one man tried to actually jump into the car and get uh, Anne out of the car, but the doors were locked. So, uh, and, and there were other people around her who, who went out. We talked to one man who works around her. He's an Iraq vet, and he said by the time he got out, no one could have helped her. She was gone, Nancy.